Lucas and I had this running joke where as soon as I got a snowmobile, all the snow would melt and there'd be no snow for the rest of the winter. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bailey and I live on Mackinac Island. So I guess I have an intro now. For today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and answer some of the questions that you have about what it's like for us to leave the island. Now, this is gonna be a little bit different from my last video because I'm not taking the plane, the boats are still running, there's not an ice bridge, and I'm not gonna be nearly as cringy as I once was because I feel much more comfortable doing this now. We're gonna talk about boats, the boat schedule, the boat passes, my car, do I have a car? Of course I have a car. <laughs> um, and, and then our kind of mainland ritual and the things that we love to do and always try to make a point of doing when we are off the island. And we're gonna take you on our little vacation with us. We're going to New Jersey to spend time with Lucas's family. We did just get back from Vegas, but uh, we use all of our vacation time up in the winter just because in the summer we're both too busy and we can't really leave. So it's the only time of the year that we actually get to spend time together. Let's talk about boat passes. And I do feel like it is worth noting that Starline is the only operating ferry service in the winter. So you can't ride Shepplers and you can't go out of Mac City. There's only one service and it's out of St. Ignace. So this is my lovely boat pass. It has my name on it. It, well, you can clearly see what it looks like. And no, this isn't a hack for how to get to Mackinac Island a little bit cheaper because you do have to have some credentials in order to obtain the pass. You have to have your government issued ID has to have a Mackinac Island residence as your address. And you also have to provide at least two pieces of paper stating that you are paying taxes, utilities. So those run about $250 and I've gotten my money's worth. I mean, whenever I go grocery shopping in the summer, when there are plenty of boats, there's usually a boat every half hour. That's great for me. I could just hop on a boat, go across, even if I just wanted to get off the island for a little bit. When I was done with work, then I could go across for a little while. Um, in the winter, it's kind of a different story. We do only have three boats a day and we don't have any Sunday service. That really limits a lot of things because like my job, I work Monday through Friday, every other weekend. And if I wanna leave on the weekend to go see my family or if I have a doctor's appointment or whatever, I either have to take time off or I have to, how do I put this? Or basically I have to schedule it perfectly so that I can get on the last boat of the day, spend the night somewhere, do my appointment early in the morning and then make it back to St. Ignace on time for the last boat, which is three o'clock. So it's kind of stressful, but I mean, worst case scenario, I would have to just get on the plane, which isn't a big deal, but it, you know, kind of throws a wrench into things. It makes things very iffy. It's hard to kind of plan for those. Okay, now let's talk about the car situation. So do I have a car? Yes, I have a car, of course I do. And there are a few options for parking. Now, I'm gonna keep this winter specific because obviously in the summer when there are different employees over here from different parts of the world, whatever, there are different parking options in the summer. But in the winter time, we have three options. Option number one is you can pay Starline to park in one of their parking lots that is right next to the boat dock and it's plowed. That's convenient. I don't know how much it is. I know that their summer parking is $350 for six months. But I'm not really sure how much they charge for winter parking because I obviously don't do that. The other option is you can park in their free parking lot, which they do not plow. And they do bring you there in the shuttle, but last year we were snowed in until May. So we didn't do that this summer or this winter. And the third and final option is that we know somebody who actually owns a boat dock and a parking lot and, and she allows people to pay her to park there instead. The only problem with that is that it's a little bit farther away from the boat dock and Starline will not shuttle you there. But that's some tea for another day. Okay, now this is my favorite part and I don't even know why, this is stupid. But every single time, every single time, doesn't matter time of day, it doesn't matter if I'm hungry or not, but we always go to McDonald's. Why? I don't know, is it because we like McDonald's? Not really. It's mostly because McDonald's is kind of a sign of civilization and convenience that we lack over here. So it's just kind of that thing that we go to because because we can. So that's kind of something silly. It's the little things in life. And honestly, okay, side note, that's something that I've really come to appreciate with living here is every time I leave, 
the littlest, most mundane things become so special and so exciting. Like just going to see a movie. Like we don't get to do that. So going to see a movie is just a whole experience for us. This big thing that we plan for and we go across and we see the movie and we stay overnight. Uh, that and like grocery shopping, I've weirdly become excited to grocery shop every time we go just because, you know, there's so many variety, there's so many different things to look at, which actually sometimes I do get very anxious about. I get so overwhelmed just because I'm like, ooh, but I'm here and I can get it, you know, because I, you know, once I go back to the island, I can't really get it. Even though like I could order the majority of things online. So I have gotten much better with that. But I will just say that going from very limited selection to an entire Walmart or Meyer or Aldi or whatever is very overwhelming and can be very overstimulating the first few times that you leave to go to a grocery store. Yeah, that's kind of what we do on the mainland. That's what we look forward to. And now I guess I'm just gonna cue a vacation montage and show you what we did while we were gone. Cue montage. Now. thing we just got off of our flight from New York we're in Detroit it is nine o'clock the last boat from St. Ignace is at three o'clock Lucas thinks that we can make the last boat because we have six hours but we have to take a 40 minute uber to go get my car and pick it up from the shop and pay for it and then go to my aunt and uncle's house and say goodbye and then try and drive through the snow up to the last boat I don't think we're gonna make it Mr. Ambitious over here thinks we might make the boat, so. You want me to drive? No. no I'll drive. Please don't. We'll, we'll make it. What? I'm just saying. If you drive, you think we'll make it? Yeah. And that's terrifying. So we got our luggage already. We might, dare I say we might make it. <laughs> oh my God, we might make it. Okay, so here's the thing. We picked up the car from the garage. Um, it's like 10 o'clock. We might make the last boat. I didn't think everything would go as smoothly as it did, but from getting our Uber to getting to the car garage to getting our car to taking off took less than an hour. So I think we're gonna make the three o'clock boat. Our predicted arrival time is 2.34. So we don't have very much time to play around with. Lucas wants to stop at a drive-through, which is kind of cutting it close, but I'm really excited because we might make it home tonight. I'll keep you posted. fucking believe we made it to the boat with I we have 40 minutes we have 40 minutes that's insane I never thought that I didn't think we'd make it let alone have extra time all right so that's it for today's video uh thank you guys so much for watching i hope that did answer some of the questions that you had about like boat passes and boat schedules and if i have a car so now all of that's taken care of and now you know the answer to all of those things so don't forget if you do have any questions go ahead and leave a comment down below i'm always looking for new video ideas and now that we are back home for like the rest of the winter i do plan on uploading a little bit more consistently well my only goal for 2020 is to be on a set schedule for my YouTube channel because this is something that I really enjoy and I know that you guys enjoy learning about all things Mackinac. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Remember that one time I said I get overwhelmed by the variety of things off the island? This is what I mean. You can have original, you could have grooves, you could have the snack mix, you could have duos, you could have generic, you could have reduced fat, you could have white cheddar, you could have big, you could have extra toasty or whole grain. How is someone supposed to choose?